this happen before. What's your name again, by the way? Taylor. Taylor. There it is. What is your name? I will by cut the that way. out. My name is Justin. Okay, we'll okay. cut this out. Taylor and Justin. There it is. Okay. Welcome back to JP Reviews, but I've never had someone kick me out of my driver's seat to drive my truck to tow their really nice horse trailer behind us. How many horses are back there? There's only three. There's only three. How heavy are they? Um, they're about 1,300 pounds a piece, maybe a little bit over. Wow. Two of them are a little bit heavier. And what kind of truck do you drive? I drive a 2014 um, GMC Dooley. Okay. When Dooley. Are you gonna, and when are you going to trade that truck in to get a ramp? <laughs> um, well, this pickup, this pickup's pulling actually pretty good. Okay. Um, it's handling my trailer. I don't know if I had six horses in there. I mean, we just have to try it. I guess Oops. we can try it, but probably not a ram when I do trade my pickup in. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, just so you know, I mean, I don't know how much power. You probably had an LML in 2014. I don't know. I think those were LMLs. I can't remember off the top of my head. But this has 400 horsepower and 1,000 pound of torque. Okay. And guess how much the newer GM trucks have? They have 445 and 910 pound torque. So, for me, I was a betting man. I think that this is your best bet. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe you're right. I mean, I think you've done a lot more statistics <laughs> and you know a lot more about numbers and stuff. Yeah. I've just rode in other rigs and um, I have a mental checklist of things that have left people on the side of the road and things that haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best time for me to speak out about it because my pickup left me, but um, and this ram saved my life, so. See, there you go. You hear that, guys? Who worked? Yes. So, uh, you have horses back there. Yep. So, what do you do for a living? So, I dropped out of college um, after three years and I rodeoed for a uh, university here in Montana. And I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to keep rodeoing. Mm -hmm. um, so at that point, I started bartending a little bit and just kind of turned everything towards horses, studying, I mean, just diving into it. Um, and now I am rodeoing full time professionally and starting to dabble a little bit in the breeding part of the industry and I, this is how I spend my summers going down the road and taking my horses with me and I wouldn't trade it for anything. That's awesome. I do train horses a little bit. Do you have a business? And, yeah. Okay. Sure. What's your business? Well, are, are you... Um, I, I'm also a Acuscope therapist or just an equine and canine physical therapist is what I call it. Um, and that is out front performance mm -hmm. is the name of my business. Taylor, how long is your trailer? Don't ask me hard questions. Don't ask you hard questions. It looks like it was probably maybe 30. I want to say 30 or 31 feet. It's probably about 30 foot in that ballpark. I would say 30 to 32 foot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tandem axle, I can tell. I don't know how much pin weight it's putting on there. It's probably about the same as my fifth wheel. It's probably like 25, 2600 pounds of pin weight. But it's like doing pretty good. Like, I'm actually happy I had a chance to do this. I mean, your tires are probably a uh, G-rated tire on your trailer because they're 110 PSI. And I mean, for the most part, I mean, you look very comfortable. <laughs> I am comfortable. In the driver's seat. I, I really think that you should uh, reconsider the ram side of things. I mean, <laughs> things are much nicer over here. Studs do not fail. Uh, I guess <laughs> not. I guess not. <laughs> so really quickly, Taylor just told me something just now about Dodge. <laughs> and uh, t tell the story really quick. It's pretty funny. So I was in Las Vegas uh, for the National Finals Rodeo. I was just spectating. I went down with my dad and there was a, you know, in the convention center, they have cowboy, it's called Cowboy Christmas. And there's thousands of booths set up and like, you can't really make it through there even in a day, like to go to each booth. So I thought it was just pretty impressive that I found it anyway. But there was a Dodge Ram poster and Dodge is huge in the sport of rodeo, huge. 
and my picture was on the poster, and my barrel racing picture is on the poster. And I was like, what in the heck? But they, they had bought my picture from a photographer at a rodeo and put it on one of their posters. And I reached out and <laughs> tried to get it, and because I was hoping I could get it after they were done like using it at X amount of shows, so but funny. I never got it. That is so But funny. now, yeah, look at me now. Dodge yeah. is getting me to my rodeos. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're calling your name. I Let know, know they know. are. I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy. That is crazy. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I am going to do a, a second video letting Taylor explain what happened. I just wanted to get her uh, perspective on the Ram 3500. <laughs> but it, her truck did have an issue, and uh, yeah. Big issue. We'll, we'll discuss it in the next <laughs> video. So, see you guys soon.